Hey guys, what's up? Recently, I was browsing through eBay looking for a good deal on some PC components for an upcoming build when I ended up finding a crazy deal for a pair of Nvidia cards. And in the end, that's all I walked away with. So stay at home, save a tank of gas, and buy a budget SLI setup. Alright guys, so you may be wondering what two cards I managed to get for the low price of $55. Well, I was able to pick up a pair of GTX 670s with a 4GB frame buffer each. I may end up giving them away to friends or using them in upcoming builds for the channel, but in this video, I'm going to put these cards to the test against current games like Doom 4 and Battlefield 1 and see how they've held up to the test of time. Let's get into a little bit of info about the GTX 670 itself. It is a supported DirectX 12 card with a frame buffer of 4GB of 256GDDR5 VRAM. It has 1344 CUDA cores as well as a core clock of 980MHz. Now for a rundown of what I will be testing. I'll be running tests with a single GTX 670, the SLI 670s, as well as comparing them to my GTX 980 Ti. The games that I will be testing will be current AAA titles to see if this is still a viable setup for late 2016. For the test bench, to get rid of as many bottlenecks as possible, I will be using an i5-6600 CPU, 16GB of 2666MHz DDR4 memory, as well as a 512GB SSD. Now let's get into the benchmarks. First, I'm going to be starting with Doom 4, where the single GTX 670 achieved 83 FPS on low settings, 62 FPS on medium settings, 45 on high settings, and 30 FPS on ultra settings. The SLI 670s achieved 125 FPS on low settings, 90 FPS on medium settings, 65 on high settings, and 42 FPS on ultra settings. And finally, the GTX 980 Ti achieved 182 FPS on low settings, 130 on medium settings, 96 on high settings, and 60 FPS solid on ultra settings. For the next game, I will be testing Battlefield 1, where the single GTX 670 achieved 75 FPS on low settings, 53 on medium, 40 on high, and 25 FPS on ultra settings. The SLI 670s achieved 105 FPS on low settings, 77 on medium, 60 on high, and 34 FPS on ultra settings. And finally, the GTX 980 Ti achieved 156 FPS on low settings, 110 on medium, 86 on high, and a solid 60 FPS on ultra settings. For the last game, I will be testing Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, where the single GTX 670 achieved 110 FPS on low settings, 75 on medium, 60 FPS on high settings, and 36 FPS on ultra settings. The SLI 670s achieved 160 FPS on low settings, 112 on medium, 86 FPS on high settings, and 56 FPS on ultra settings. And finally, the GTX 980 Ti achieved 225 FPS on low settings, 173 FPS on medium settings, 132 FPS on high settings, and 78 FPS on ultra settings. Well, as you can see, a single GTX 670 is powerful enough to handle the average of three games that I tested around medium to high settings, where the SLI GTX 670s were performing much closer to the GTX 980 Ti. So in conclusion, do I recommend this setup in 2016? Yes, yes I do, if you can find a pair of these GTX 670s for sub $100. If not, then I recommend sticking with the current generation and investing in GTX 1050 Ti or an RX 470. So as always, if you liked the video or you found it impactful in your life, please leave a like down below and please do consider subscribing. Thank you guys for watching, bye.